Hey YouTube, Brian here, and today I have in front of me my new helmet for the 2022 season, which is the Sedici Strata 2 finished off in this amazing gloss carbon. There are several reasons why I picked this helmet over its competitors, and I will get to those when we finish this walkthrough. There are two variants of the Strata 2 helmet. The variant in front of us is the Strata 2, which includes this very nifty slider actuated visor, it goes up and down very easily. And then the Strata 2 Primo. The Strata 2 Primo uh, loses the functionality of that visor, but then gains a snail rating. This is still no slouch. It has a DOT and an ECE 2205 rating, uh, but only the gloss carbon is available in the standard Strata 2. The Primo will be a matte version. So from the front, we have one large vent that will vent air between the nose guard and the front of the visor. The visor is pin lock ready and it is pretty well made. The only thing to note here is that there is only three positions the helmet will stay in. There is a detent at the very top. It will go to the bottom with a slight crack and then snap in place. Moving to the top, we have these two vents here that have two positions, one halfway open, one fully open, and they do snap into place nicely. Moving to the rear, we have two passive vents at the bottom here and then one large vent at the top. And I really like the shape of this vent. It gives this helmet a very aerodynamic profile that I think both looks sharp and I'm sure will help if you're in the more aggressive riding position that you would be on a sport bike on the street or at the track. Moving on to the interior of the helmet, the straps are pretty typical. We have a nice anodized red D-ring and the leather and finish on these pads uh, feels very nice. The interior has this really cool pattern, uh, like hexagonal pattern that I think is pretty, uh, pretty neat. Um, and the feeling of the pads um, is very nice. It, it's not a typical uh, rough finish that you would have in a lower end helmet. It, it's very smooth um, and it feels very nice. One other thing to note that I like a lot is that it come with the pre-installed chin guard and it doesn't seem to be as uh, cumbersome or uh, cheap, I guess, as some of the other variants that I've seen. So the interior is very nice. It is tight at first, but as you wear it, obviously it breaks in like most helmets do. So as someone who does the occasional spirited street riding and several track days a year, did I pick the Sedici Strata 2 Gloss Carbon Helmet? Well, have you looked at this thing? It's gorgeous. And I think it's probably one of the best looking helmets on the market, regardless of price. It only weighs 3.38 pounds, and if you do factor in price, it's only $370, which makes this one of the strongest value propositions on the market in my opinion. The only issue I initially had with this helmet is that it lacked the Snell certification, and I had intended to buy the Primo version, but after some awesome videos from Fort9 and independent research into what my uh, regulating bodies of the track days that I'm gonna participate in require, I determined that the ECE rating was sufficient for my needs. I have a dark smoked visor, that should be here any day now that I think is gonna make this helmet just look absolutely amazing. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on that. And when the weather is finally not cold enough to freeze my tits off, I will give you a full ride review that will include wind noise, performance, and all that jazz. So please stay tuned, like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna know. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video.